Okay, and welcome back to our video here. What we're gonna do here is try and eliminate this white space over here and maximize what uh, what space we have allotted for the virtual machine for um, our Windows machine here. So uh, right now it's just very tiny. We wanna make sure that this takes up all the space that we possibly can get it uh, to take off. So uh, this is actually a little trickier than you might realize. Um, it's not necessarily in how we set up the virtual machine itself. Uh, it's actually in uh, what are called guest editions. So what we're going to do is go to devices and insert guest editions CD image. Uh, that's basically the same as us taking a CD and putting it in our virtual machine. Now it's all virtual so we don't actually have to put a CD there but it's essentially what this means. Now that we have our CD inserted we go up here to uh, this PC, which I'll exit out of that and show you how I actually got there. Um, we click in here and then we go to this PC, which is right here. Uh, we're gonna double click right here. It's gonna bring up a menu here. That's gonna give us all kinds of different options. We are gonna run the first one. Uh, I think this is the right one. If not, we'll try the other two and see, but I'm pretty sure this is the right one. Uh, we'll click it right here. It'll ask us if it wants to make changes. We'll say yes. And then we pretty much just let the installer do its own thing. Uh, it's going to bring up a couple menus here for us to click through. But uh, for the most part, it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. So we'll click next. Uh, where that is is perfectly fine. And uh, install. So uh, this shouldn't take very long to install, just a couple of minutes or so. Um, again, the idea here is for us to basically tell our virtual machine that it's part of something larger than uh, than itself. <laughs> We're like, you are part of a grander picture here, computer. Uh, and it's basically going to try to figure out what components of that uh, larger world it can emulate, which is pretty much this uh, white space over here. Uh, it's going to realize it's meant for bigger and better things than just this box. It's going to start thinking outside this box and push it to the outside over here. So uh, we'll let it reboot and we'll hit finish. Now when the computer reboots, it should automatically resize to be the appropriate size. Now if it doesn't, we can go into our other menus and make sure that it does or find a way that it does. However, um, I think that what we have right now should... Uh, should suffice uh, just fine. So it does take a couple of minutes. You'll see the box resize a couple of times and hopefully uh, this window will actually go, go hopefully this window will uh, resize for us as soon as we manage to get logged in to the machine. And just like that ladies and gentlemen we now have a significantly better image uh, in order to work with here for our uh, virtual machine. So this is the virtual machine that we were looking at before. Remember, it was uh, it was like this big before. It was like that big before. It was it was tiny before. Uh, now we've managed to extend it so that now our virtual machine knows its place in the grand universe. This is what we're going to be working with for the uh, remainder of these couple videos here. Uh, and then I'll actually switch back onto my host machine uh, once we get into the swing of a couple projects. So anyway, guys, we have a fully functional, fully working uh, virtual machine uh, that uh, will do everything Windows computers can do. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.